Meanwhile, former Bears coach and player Mike Ditka outraged many with what he said on national radio about oppression in the United States. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemigno has the comment and the controversy. Here's what Mike Ditka said on Westwood One's Monday Night Football pregame show after commenting on NFL players taking a knee during the national anthem. I think that you have to be colorblind in this country. You got to look at a person for what he is and what he stands for and how he produces, not by the color of his skin. That has never had anything to do with anything. But all of a sudden, it's become a big deal now about oppression. There has been no oppression in the last hundred years that I know of. I thought that his comments were incendiary. Xavier Pope is a sports legal analyst. So your Twitter feed has looked like what since this came out? My timeline has been lighting up all day about this issue. At We Need Lasers, in support of Ditka, tweeted, Mike Ditka was never considered racist until he stood up for our country. How could a nation survive with half the population vilifying anyone who stands up for said nation? Proud resistor reacted to Ditka's comments by tweeting, Mike Ditka on NFL protests. No oppression in the last 100 years that I know of. It's official. White people in America have lost their damn minds. It should outrage not only black people, it should outrage everyone. Pope says Ditka's comments show he's out of touch. When Mike Ditka was playing, uh, there was a, it was a quota for uh, black players on teams for the National Football League. And former 85 Bear Richard Dent said he's disappointed Dicka would say that when Dicka saw fellow teammates discriminated against by forced segregation. We reached out to Dicka's agent for comment, and Erica and Rob, we didn't hear back. Okay, thanks, Suzanne.